Charterman, 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 is next to the G1 long haul, so let's see that. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharmus Prime here doing another Marvel Select review on the Marvel Select Punisher. This Punisher right here is based off of a from Garth Ennis's run. I think it's Tim Bradstreet, who's the artist, the cover artist for that run. So you could see right here the face kind of very much resembles this cover right here. I uh, love Garth Ennis's run on the Punisher, that was awesome, super gory man but you know overall I just want to say this figure I would not recommend it to anybody uh, unless you're really into props and everything because this figure has got the most limited amount of articulation from a figure I've bought in a long time his arms move up and down his head moves side to side and up and down just barely a little bit and he has waist articulation so he's basically got five points of articulation so it's like damn why the hell would you spend 20 bucks on a figure like this it's the bases man look at this thing that is incredible not only that you get this one too this Mathers Tavern forgot exactly which arc this is from I can't remember it's, it's been quite some time and this is an you know an older figure so it was re-released but you know then to go back into this figure I, I do like the paint applications I think you know the way they sculpted and painted the face is very cool very gruesome Frank Castle right there like you could see wrinkles in his shirt and all these buckles and stuff and I like the texturing of his pants very cool and there's like some gray coming in and out of the black area I like the detail on the boots that is nice you can even see how the sole is attached to the shoe right there very very nice detail that was really really cool I have peg holes right there I like this jacket a lot I like all the lines sculpted in there very well made. The guns are pretty cool too. I already broke the trigger. I'm not going to take it out, but you can see the silver dry brush and silver applications. Same thing with this hand pistol right there. So, you know, details even on the fingernails. I think that's pretty damn cool. So, you know, the sculpt is, is good. It's just the articulation on this guy is just very, very weak. It's quite terrible. Actually. And this dude right here, you know, that's gotten his ass beaten to the pinball machine is very, very awesome. Uh, when you buy this thing, the legs are all separate. You have to plug it all in and then shove them through the, the handcuffs right here and the loops right here. So that's very cool. But this thing is just gruesome and gnarly looking, man. Look at, I like all the tattoos. See everything very well. He's got a grenade in his mouth. Scared shitless. That is terrifying. That's pretty damn gross belly right there. See the pin right there? So his face is about to blow up. Thug for life. For life. I like all the spider stuff and it's, you know, Spider-Man pinball machine. Very cool. So yeah, this is neat. I like the detail right here. Very, very cool base. The second base is very cool too. I like how the brick and bullet holes on this wall look and the paint applications right here it's pretty hollow this thing kinda just hangs by these plastic ropes they hook in right there and if you have proper lighting it kind of lights up but not really so so yeah not a whole lot to say I mean if you want to use some cool stuff for a base you know it's not bad but overall this figure is just kinda neat you know to look at one other thing to mention is that he does not stand up. It's very frustrating. It's hard to get him to stand up. You have to have the gun pointing all the way out. My uh, review station right here is, you know, not exactly level, so he won't stand up here, but earlier he can. And he doesn't, there's no peg sticking up over here, so it would be nice, you know, to have had that. So, you, can, you know, your best bet's kind of leaning him against like that, so... You know, overall, it's cool to have these accessories. That's why I bought it, but, you know, overall, I just can't recommend it. All right, that's my review, you guys. I'll catch you later. Peace. Oh, that's Shardimus. He is so awesome. But now what should I do on the Internet? <laughs>
Geekopedia's big news is number one source for geek news, reviews, toys, comics, movies, cartoons, video games, and more! Next time you're done watching my videos, where are you going? BKBN.net. Where are you going? BKBN.net.